want to win fights with little to no effort? Do, do you wish there would be a build that just allows you to kill your enemy by, I don't know, breathing on them? My friend, I would say you're crazy in normal circumstances, but you're actually not. Boys, let me show you a crazy strong build that's quite cheap and that deals so much damage is insane. I'm also going to showcase this build on my normal character that has spec and stuff like that, but I also have a new character ready to showcase this exact build. The set itself goes like this. You want to have Guardian Helmet with a third spell, first passive. You want to have Mage Robe, same thing, third spell, first passive. You want to have Soldier Boots, this time with a third spell and second passive. Usually you see me run Plate Boots with the second spell. Well, this time is an exception because this build lacks a ton of mobility. So you need to get some of uh, some mobility back by just using a spell that kind of makes up for that in a way. Then you want to have the Curse Staff, everything on the first spell except the passive, which is the third one. Some people like the fourth one for chasing and to be honest, if you have high IP, this might be very much worth it or the first one as a general good thing like you can use it in whatever circumstances you find yourself into this passive makes makes it so you deal more damage every five spells and if you actually pay attention to that and time it right you can do a whole lot of damage with this so what you can end up doing with this passive is basically just stacking up your cues until you get those five spells cast and then you put your E on your enemy and that's gonna do a whole lot more damage, especially because you have this W right here. I'm gonna explain each ability, so don't worry. Then you wanna have the Mist Caller. A cheap alternative would be the Torch. It's basically the same thing. To be honest, you might even be better off with the Torch. If you, have a, if you however, go with a Torch, I would suggest you switch to this passive so you do more auto attacks. But I would say the Mist Caller is a good idea in general because it lowers the cooldowns to a point in which you don't really feel like you even have cooldowns. You wanna have a Tedford Cape. Here is where some people might I disagree some people like Kalyan cape some people like matro cape i prefer the tedford cape for the extra damage but that makes this build very much a glass cannon what makes up for that a little bit is the resistance potion and as for food you want to have beef stew greetings my fellow viewers fret not for i'm mogdan's trusty hat and i come bearing good news if you enjoy watching my master's content on youtube then you will be pleased to know that it's all recorded live on twitch by joining us on twitch you'll not only get a sneak peek of upcoming videos but also have the opportunity to win giveaways and drops and just hang out with a lively and amazing community so come on over and join us now we're most likely live at this very moment click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to join us now let me explain the spells i'm gonna go very quickly over it just to, just so i briefly walk over everything you need to know first of all the q your main spammable applies a dot to the enemy a dot that stacks up to four times this dot deals damage and the q itself also deals damage upon you hitting with it the more dots you have the more damage you're going to be doing with uh, four stacks uh channeling up quite a ton of damage as you can see over there whereas one stack is not nearly as much you see that 160 something versus 40 now this q is also used to boost up the damage for your e when you have four of those stacks your e can actually go from doing 900 uh, from doing 534 damage to doing 1860 so check this out if i stack this up and i use my e at full stacks as i'm supposed to use my e look at how much damage this is gonna do uh, on top of the damage that the stacks themselves are doing 1.2k damage whereas if i use my let's say e without whereas if i use my e without stacking up my q's at all i just use straight up my e with zero stacks it's supposed to do less than 400 damage as you will see right here as you can see now another spell that actually boosts your e damage and your damage in general is your w the armor piercer this reduces the enemy damage resistance by 51 for reference the spell that's traditionally used to increase your resistance on the armor slot increases your resistance by 87 so this wouldn't really take care of that uh, whole thing but it would still be much more damage than normal and it would look something like this check this out so the ideal combo is you stacking up to four times with your q on your enemy putting your E on your enemy, waiting a little bit, then debuffing them with your W and making sure the stacks remain. And look at that, we've went from 1.2k damage with the E to 1.5. If you can even afford having a po uh, poison potion and throw that, that's even gonna reduce the enemy even more, but 
I would say that makes you way, way, way too squishy. Talking about squishiness, whenever you're getting damaged, try to wait until you get low and use your Guardian Helmet. Whenever you use your Guardian Helmet, when you're low, like below 40%, you actually increase your HP and you get a shield that kind of increases your HP by 1.5k. Whereas if you use it right now, I'm just gonna get a little bit of a shield that increases my HP for 766. Now, granted, this HP increase, I mean, I know it's technically a shield, not an HP increase, but that's kind of what it acts like. Is lasting only for three seconds another reason you might want to use this is to get rid of the debuffs that you have on you for example let's say somebody has let's say you're fighting a battle axe and they have full stacks on you you can actually get rid of those dots by just using your helmet and another thing that you can read uh, that you can get rid of is the enemy buffs by using the purging shield every single time you take damage while you have this buff on you will get your enemy purged this is very good for taking care of uh, defensives and stuff like that from your enemy the ideal combo would look something like this you just spam your q and auto attacks you always want to try to auto attack as much as possible in the meantime make sure the enemy is like you need to kite your enemy Try to get your enemy as low as possible with your Qs and whenever you feel like you can kill them as long as they don't have defensives, which by the way, if they do, you activate this. Whenever you feel like you can kill them, you put your E on them, you wait for a second, you debuff them. If they start chasing you and you cannot kite them, you pop your F. If they start doing damage to you and you're almost dying, you're under 40%, you use your uh, your helmet. If you need to, let's say, purge something that they have, maybe they popped a, re uh, a defensive or something like that, you use this. Now, what are some matchups that are going to be tough for you? Any matchup against Cleric Cow. The Cleric Cow cannot be purged, cannot be interrupted. It's basically making them immune to everything. That's going to be very, very, very rough. Another thing, a curse staff against a ranged player that swapped to this. It's going to be very problematic to get in range because the curse staff has one of the smallest ranges. So you're going to have to get close to your enemy to hit them and almost every other range weapon has a bigger range on the Q and on the auto attack. So you have to be very, very careful about that. So if, if you see your enemy swapping to this, it's a very, very big problem. And another thing that you will struggle with is high IP players that have more mobility. Notice that I did not say high IP players in general, just those players that actually have more mobility. And in general, you have to watch out for purges because if you're fighting a player that has similar or high IP, if they purge this, you're dead. If they purge your Wanderlust, you are dead because you need to kite them and you have no other source of mobility. So this is the main thing that you want to be using to keep your enemies, enemies away from you. And with that out of the way, I'm just going to play some clips with this build in action on my main character. And then I'm also going to show you how this build went on a character with absolutely zero spec and with the cheaper variant of the build, as you will see in a second. I have no idea what this guy is doing, but he dead. Like, I don't know why he fought me. I'm so confused by everything going on in this mist. I'm so confused by everything going on in this mist. What's wrong with people? Why do you want to fight me? You have 200 less IP than me and I have Guardian Helmet. Do you have Guardian Helmet? You do. Look at you! Why? Of course this is the outcome! Mock but hard. Let's go. This is gonna be a pretty hard journey, chat. This is gonna be a pretty hard journey. <laughs> We're having trouble from the get-go by ch by uh, deciding on a name. Yeah. But you know what they say, chat. When the journey is hard, just be harder. Perfection. Satisfied? And we can also afford the horse, which is great. Gentleman riding horse. Let's go for it, man. Let's go for it.
dead. First kill, boys. First kill with T3 gear. Let's go. I knew that I could beat him with this. Because uh, uh, he did look a lot like a new player. And new players don't know how to hit their E with Werbo. How much fame? I cannot believe that I already got a kill, chat. Like, <laughs> I already have a kill. 3.9k PvP fame. So nothing amazing. But it's kind of fun. What does he have? Let's go! Second kill, let's go! Not a lot of money, but hey, it's a second kill. He dead? He did, even without stacks, I messed up my stacking. Let's go. They're fighting over there. Chat, I cannot believe this. I'm about to rat. I'm about to rat. <laughs> Give them a second. Let them get low. I hope I find them. Yep. Th there they go. There they go. <laughs> Mog's about to rat. Mog's about to rat. I might die here. He mounted up! He mounted up! No! <laughs> Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown. We decided to finally launch Patreon after seeing so many people willing to help us out. So if you want to help us out, if you want to support our content, please consider joining our Patreons by accessing the link in the description down below. It truly helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all.